Good day everyone, I am teacher April Kikigato and I'm excited to be here with you all today. Today, we're going to delve into the fascinating world of rational numbers and explore how they fit into the number line. Representation of rational numbers on a number line. So, rational numbers are defined as a number that can be represented in form of P over Q, where P and Q are integers and Q is not equal to zero. Representation of rational number on a number line is defined as plotting or graphing positive and negative rational numbers on a number line. So number line helps us to find an infinite number of rational numbers between any two rational numbers by increasing the number of divisions. How to represent rational numbers on a number line? So representation of rational numbers on a number line is very similar to the representation of negative integers or negative fractions on a number line. On a number line, keeping 0 as the reference, the left-hand side of 0 represents the negative region and the right-hand side of 0 represents the positive region. So I have here some examples of rational numbers on a number line. How do we represent rational numbers on a number line? A number line looks something like this. The positive integers are represented towards the right of 0 and the negative integers are represented to the left of 0. The numbers increase when we move towards the right and decrease when we move towards the left. It's easy to plot integers, but how do we plot numbers like 3 by 4? Before we understand how to plot this, we need to understand a very crucial point. Every integer except 0 has a corresponding integer. The integer 1 has minus 1 as its corresponding integer. The integer 2 has minus 2 as its corresponding integer. Similarly, every negative integer will have a corresponding positive integer. This tells us that if we somehow manage to plot 3 by 4, we can mark a point at the same distance on the left hand side of 0, which is minus 3 by 4. Now we can move on to the representation of rational numbers on a number line. To simplify things, we can classify the examples into two types. Ones in which the numerator is less than the denominator and the other in which the numerator is greater than the denominator. Note that we see only the numerical value to compare the numerator and the denominator. For example, if we are plotting minus 9 by 5, we compare 9 and 5 and not minus 9 and 5. So minus 9 by 5 will come in the numerator greater than denominator category. One of the categories of plotting the rational numbers on the number line is when the numerators are less than the denominators. Let's try to plot 1 by 2 and minus 1 by 2 on the number line. First, we see how we can plot 1 by 2. The numerator 1 is less than the denominator 2. When the numerator is less than the denominator, the positive rational number will be between 0 and 1. So we draw the number line like this. The number 1 by 2 has to lie somewhere between 0 and 1. Now we divide the length between 0 and 1 into equal parts. How many equal parts is the question? The denominator tells us the number of equal parts. The denominator is 2. So we divide it into two equal parts. This line divides this region into two equal parts. But what does the numerator tell us? It tells us the number of parts starting from zero. The numerator is one and therefore we take one part from zero and mark one by two here. We can use the same procedure to mark minus one by two on the left side of zero. Divide it into two parts and mark minus one by two one part away from zero. Just as integers had corresponding values, rational numbers too have corresponding values. In our example, minus 1 by 2 corresponds to 1 by 2. Let us look at another example where the numerator is less than the denominator. We have to plot 3 by 4 and minus 3 by 4. Let us plot 3 by 4 first. Since the numerator is less than the denominator, we know that the number will be between 0 and 1. So we draw the number line like this, with just 0 and 1 plotted. Remember, the denominator tells us the number of equal parts. Since the denominator is 4, we divide the length between 0 and 1 into 4 equal parts. 
Drawing these three lines gives us four equal parts. Now we move to the numerator. The numerator tells us the number of parts from the number zero. Since the numerator is three, we move three equal parts from zero. One, two and three. So we mark three by four here. Now let us plot minus three by four. Since three is less than four and the rational number is negative, we know that it will come between zero and minus one. We divide this length into four equal parts as the denominator is four. And we mark minus three by four, three parts away from zero. That's it. We have plotted the points. But let me ask you a question. You have plotted the numbers 3 by 4 and minus 3 by 4. But do you know which numbers are plotted on these points? Here's your answer. Since this is one part, we mark 1 by 4 here. Since these are two parts, we mark 2 by 4 here. Similarly, we can plot minus 1 by 4 and minus 2 by 4 here. This was just for your understanding and you don't need to mark all the points if you're asked to mark just 3 by 4 and minus 3 by 4.